Hey folks, it's Ridgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. I'm just going to grab one more bag of this a second and throw it into the fertilizer spreader over there. And then we're going straight back over to the wood chips and we're going to carry on with that. We're going to do another trailer load so that we can cash in on the huge amount of money that is currently being offered. Let's just not drive off the edge there. We can help it. That would definitely be in our favor. You've got to love the gravity-defying bags that we've got right here. They are absolutely fantastic. Back up this way a little bit. There we go. And we're done. Right. So, yeah, I only wanted to do one more bag. I just, I just wanted to do that. And then we'll leave our forklift like that so that anybody going nearby will trip over and, you know, possibly break their ankles on the thing as well. Or, you know, we, we could just leave it safe there. That that would probably be better. That, that that would probably help just a little bit. Right, so the plan today is, like I said, we want to get a little bit more in the way of wood chips going. So we'll do that first. And then once we've done said wood chips, I think we'll just do one load. I don't think that we need to worry about any more than one load. Uh, I have been told that it might be possible for me to get rid of some of the bits up here where the trees used to be the problem is i don't actually know where the trees used to be so i might be able with this one to find where the tree is or was and get rid of it uh, some people have had some luck with it some people have not but I know that there were a few trees up here, so I'm not sort of holding a lot of um, hope for that one. It's kind of a question of just finding where the tree is, I suppose, and, and messing around with it. Um, but there is the possibility that you might be able to just... You know, if it throws up just even one wood chip, it's an indication that, yeah, you found the right one. And that's the one that you want to um, just, just sort of sit there for a minute and, and let it do its thing. And, and then you should be fine. You, you should be able to... Oh, oh. Are we going to get... Yes, there we go. Excellent. Uh, you, should be a, you should be able to remove some of the stumps. Some people have reported uh, some quite good luck with getting rid of the errant tree stumps that have been in their way on these maps. Um, using this Brux wood chipper. Not any of the other ones. None of the, not the standard wood chip or anything like that, but this one here, because it's got a much bigger area for doing the stump grinding, it does seem to be a whole lot better for it. So let me just lift that one up a minute and put it over the top, like that. So yeah, you can see it's, it does have a much bigger area for doing the stump grinding. And this is the bit that really helps and it, will, it does actually get rid of a whole load of stumps um i have had probably five or six people talking about this now some i think one or two put it actually in the comments but there were others who messaged me and said that they've had the same thing this brooks wood chipper is really good for getting rid of the invisible tree stump so it's worth playing around with if you've got like one that's stubborn and you can't find it or you can't get rid of it just sort of have a bit of a mess around with this one and you may get lucky with it i'm not saying that you will it, it you might still not actually find the, the bit that you're looking for but there is a chance that this one will actually get rid of it what we're going to do is we're going to bring it into here a minute and in there like that and he doesn't like that one. Let's do it up here like this. There we go. Right. Tree stump chopped. And then we should be able to take the rest of it down like that. Back up a bit. Take another slice off. And then all i got to do is lower it down over the top and just remove the last little bit. We've got 40,000 litres of wood chips on board this one. That one's empty now. Uh, empty that the stump is gone completely i mean and i'm only going to do one more load we, we we do have like a few more trees that we could possibly do some stuff with but i'm actually only planning to do one more load i'll take out what trees we can here doing it uh actually how far up can we go 
this is the next big question is how far up, oh right so we've got up that one and we can sort of go up round there so if there's any trees up there we could go for them and I've got more trees down here that I could do stuff with anyway and I could possibly like remove some of these stumps so I could if I wanted to at some point enlarge this field I could sort of extend the length of this field except that there's some rocks in the way right there those boulders right there those big bits that would cause any prop that that would cause the problems with this, this uh, fantastic idea that i've just had so we're not actually going to do that we're not going to bother trying to extend the field any more than it already is i don't think we need to i will take this one down i'm not going to worry about saving these trees over here for um any other kind of harvesting we'll take these out for now and then we can always come back and we can grow some new ones later on to do for additional harvesting if we want to i may not bother on this particular map i may not worry about planting any trees at all and we'll see about planting trees on our next series next map which whichever map that might be i, I have no idea what map we'll go to next but at the moment you all still seem to want me to stay here which I'm absolutely fine with. I've got another thing that I want to do in a little while. We've got the... Let me just lift that up. Right there. Um, we have Patreon Gracemark to thank for the beginning of this. Although there was additional testing done by other people on the Discord server. Uh, I'm really sorry. I don't remember the names of anybody else that did testing. But they definitely did do testing. They definitely do deserve mention, so you remind me in the comments section if you were one of the people that helped with the additional testing with the pallets. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome because there's some new stuff that we found out about pallets. Um, which is going to make life even easier for us compared to what it is right now with regards to loading up these pallets and everything. There we go, if I go like that and then in that next one so we've got another 26,000 litres of wood chips there there's another tree Ooh, back up a bit there that might just get that tree stump out yes it has right it's taken that one down I've got there's a couple around here a couple trees there's another deciduous one over there I want to prioritise getting the deciduous trees because those are the ones that we can't take down with the tree harvester so those are the ones that are primarily going to be in the way later on if we do want to do something else. Uh, yeah, he will take it. Just need to... There, perfect, got it. And then I can go up a little bit further and remove the stump out of the way. There's another 46,000 litres of wood chips right there. Oh, steady. Steady. There we go. Ah, there's still another bike that I need to remove on that. Well, I'll go around this way because there's one of the placeable stumps right there as well. Ah, it was it was gonna do it was gonna do it then. It's sort of a little bit sensitive in places for some of these things, mainly because of the uneven ground. The uneven ground doesn't help. Right, there's the other bit that I want to take out. If I go like that, that'll saw off the top bit. Then I can use the stump grinder and remove the rest of it. And that one's out completely. Right. 46,000 litres of wood chips. Let's go around and remove this pine tree right here. This will only be maybe 2,000 litres. There's not a lot on these small trees. 48,000, 48,500. So yeah, there's practically nothing in those lift you up a minute switch it off just just it's a little bit of um, peace and quiet from that roaring all the time and uh, I'll come up to here right that's that one filled and the next one behind is starting to fill up I love how fast this thing empties out it certainly does make it a lot easier we all know that this is not a particularly realistic mod so I'm quite happy to accept it emptying out at warp speed as well because you know, nothing else on it is overly realistic so why why not have a, a warp speed unload to go with it 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 sort of fits the mod beautifully it really does 
And I've got a deciduous tree there. There's another redwood one behind it, which we'll see if we can get. I'm going to take you down. You're, you're going in for the... He doesn't like doing that first. You do have to cut the chainsaw bit first. And that's the one bit that it doesn't do very well with all the time. Sometimes it does just fine. Other times it doesn't like it at all. Very occasionally we have to do this. It out and chop it like this. That's all right. We can do that. We'll chop that one over there like that. Pick it up with the wood chipper. Get that bit. As soon as I filled up that trailer, the second trailer there, that's going to be it for wood chips. We're going to... We'll keep the Brux chipper here, but we'll return the trailer. Uh, the two trailers and the dolly and the lorry as well. We'll return the whole lot. It's all going. It's all disappearing. And this is the thing that people told me about was that bit right there. You get this kind of phantom bit left behind after using the chainsaw and that's the bit that can sometimes cause problems and it's not a bit you can always see very often you can't see it at all it's just this sort of phantom floating piece with the chainsaw so it's better if you can cut the thing down with this one because you don't get that sort of wedge that's left floating in the air and that was one of the big sort of feedback items that I had on this was um, that's why several people have had these issues. If you can cut the whole thing down like that, it will probably be okay. Probably. No, I'm not putting any guarantee on this. Oops. Uh, okay, I didn't see that there. I'm not putting any guarantee on this. It, it may not work properly, but it's your best bet. It's definitely your best bet. Bring you on round here. Back you up a little bit. And, right, I've still got 32,000 litres of wood chips left in this. I didn't want to have stuff left over. But I th I'm pretty sure those are now full. Even though the visual is not saying it's full. Pretty sure they are, in fact, full. Which means 32,000 litres here. I could, suppose, I, I, I could go and cut some more down. Uh, I could dump them somewhere else. I've got a rear hitch on there. Would that other trailer go on the back of this? No, I don't think that one would. I think it's the wrong hitch to go on there. Or is it? I wonder, can we get our yellow trailer hooked up to the back of there? There's only one way to find out. You just leave that one there. You didn't go and dump stuff into there, did you? No, you didn't. I thought maybe it had dumped it into that one for a minute. Okay, I don't, I'm not interested in you, but you right here. 170,000 litres of wood chips. It will wheel spin a little bit. And we've got our yellow trailer up over here. So the big question is, will that trailer hook onto the back? I don't know. It might. It might. It Although I suspect that the hitch is the wrong one for this one here. Um, but it's certainly worth having a look. Now, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to go like that. Unhitch that one. Bring you round. If it'll hitch onto this one, it'll hitch onto the other one. I can bring this one and put this one in place and then I can use the others. So I'll pull you up this way. If this one will hitch it on, we'll dump those other 32,000 litres in the back of here. This trailer, we'll probably have to go back and get that one another time. Alright, uh, how close do I, would I need to get for it? Uh, I mean, if it doesn't, we'll leave the wood chips in the... It does! Okay, right. I'll bring this down over here, and that should unload from the wood chipper there. Straight into this truck. Yes, it will. Look at that. Fill that one up. Completely full. How much is going to be left? Uh, 1,200 litres. Right, that's pretty much nothing at all. 
I don't know if it's... Well, actually, it won't auto-unload if I close the spout down. So I can leave that one like that, and then I can unhitch this one over here. And it shouldn't cause us any issues. So I can drop you down in here. Lower you down like that. Uh, hold you up a minute. Right, so it'll keep 1,300 litres in the tank there, but it shouldn't do anything else. So I switch you off. Then go back to the lorry over here and right well I need to turn I'll turn like this hopefully I can turn round just it's dragging it a little bit it's not the most elegant of turns that we did just then but it'll work it'll be fine so I will stop right there a minute and then unhitch that one then I come over to here I grab that dolly off of the back there because I've got a rear hitch on this truck as well. Which is vitally important for this particular little task. Pull that one up. And then bring that back. The only thing that we're going to be left with is because I want to return this truck and trailers as soon as we've uh, tipped them all out. I can't now go and return them just straight from the uh, sawmill, which was going to be my original plan, just to save us a little bit of time. So we'll probably... I could just drive them back here and then return them from here, because this does travel pretty quickly. You out of there. So now I've got this one on as my front trailer. I won't bother sheeting them down this time, like I did last time. Back you up there and hitch that one on. I've now got all of them in a line. Look at that. Now that's a thing of beauty right there. We got 201,000 litres of wood chips off up the road. That is awesome. That is genuinely awesome. It looks like our pallet right there is full. Go into here. 350 two liters yeah 88 liters that one's full and it's now filling up the small ones so before i unload go and take those up the road let's go and get this one here and it's these small pallets i'm not too worried about i'll go and put the next one over here and then i've got something else that i want to do with this trailer that i want to show you which i thought was actually really really awesome this is part of the thing that um, people have been testing and coming back with a load of pictures and stuff on the Discord channel. So if you want to get involved with things and, like, uh, occasionally I put up a thing, you know, I really want this or uh, do we know any more about this or someone else will come up with an idea and then several people all get together and start running tests and stuff, posting screenshots. It's absolutely wonderful. It really is because it sort of, it, it really helps me out in the background. It's, it's, it's genuinely awesome, the amount of sort of effort that a load of people will go and put in it's like everybody is like oh you know what i'm gonna join in with the testing of this tonight and then you get three or four people joining in and then five or six of them and you get different screenshots all coming up and it's 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 just genuinely amazing it's it's absolutely wickedly cool it's 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 awesome so if you would like to get involved in the discord and any of this sort of testing and stuff like that by all means, jump onto the Discord. There is a in the description down below. There is a link to a video to um, that uh, explains the, the basics of the Discord, and uh, there is a direct link on there to the Discord channel. I've done it like that so that you can sort of see a bit of what it's about if you're not sure. And also, then, if we do ever need to change the link for the Discord, I've only got to change one. I don't have to go back through hundreds of videos and change loads of others. I just go and find the Discord video and change that one. Makes life a lot easier. It really does. Right, we will slowly chug our way up here. And we will get over to the sawmill, get this lot sold. Then, next on the list is, I just want to have a quick look at... You know, I don't know if I'm even going to get to the pallet thing today. I'm starting to think... I'm, well, actually, I can. I can do the pallet thing. I can definitely do the pallet thing. I've just figured out how I can do the pallet thing. It's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't get... No, 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 no. Don't... Oh, no. I'm tangled up on the tree. 
this is the problem is when when you you, you go you if you drive too fast you get tangled up on the trees and it always happens now look see i'm i'm comp <laughs> yes i am completely tangled up on that tree there is i don't think that is gonna come off of there very easily I might be able to shunt it. If, if I can shove it this way enough, I might be able to pull it out round. It, it's, it's moving a bit. We might we might be able to do this. Can I do this? Can I pull it through? No, I don't think I can. Uh, can I push it, maybe? Oh, 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 I might, I might be able to do something here. I, I might. No, I... Now just got it completely wedged against the side of the tree. Uh, that wasn't quite according to plan. Right, let me try unhitching you a minute. And how can I do this? I have an idea. We'll we'll do this elegantly and carefully. Right, we we need to we we do not want to scratch this truck because this truck is not ours, and we need to very carefully just shunt this out the way so ramming it full speed with the front of our cab like that seems to be the best and most sensible option <laughs> let's do that again right there and smack oh okay that one that just joint had the trailer come and join us right inside the cab and possibly kneecapped us at the same time um so moving swiftly on Let's see if we can get this one back out as well. I, I always have bad luck when I come up here. I've gotten hung up on the, the actual railway crossing before now. And now I'm getting stuck here and it's still not working properly. I, I did at least manage to move this trailer a bit. But all that's happening is the back trailer seems to be moving in the wrong direction. Oh, oh it's so close. It's so close. It is. We're, we're very nearly there. Um... Let me unhitch that again. Here comes the train. Right, ignore the train. We don't want to get involved with that one. What I want to do is I want to shove that one over that way a little bit. So we can try and do that again. From back over here. Back up a bit more. At least we're not going to have the train get in our way. Go on, you can do this. Go. Oh, it moved it. It moved it a little bit. I think we may have moved it enough. Yes, it worked. Just, only just. Right, so we need to be a little bit more careful about what we're doing there. But we can carry on now. Off up the road and next stop will be the sawmill. Well, I'm building up a decent bit of speed. The question is, can I control the speed when we get to the other end? I really ought to think about slowing down sometime about now. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's slow down a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take that as a success. I stopped. I successfully stopped the thing and nobody was seriously hurt. Yes, the traffic may have been a little bit blocked up there, just, just for a moment. But nobody was injured, so it's okay. We're just fine. Well, uh, nobody was seriously injured. Uh, I, I may have suffered a little bit of whiplash, but that's a minor, minor detail. It really is. So we get to here, and then I want to go like that. So tip side back and tip side grain door. So we want to tip this out through the grain door and then come around there. That's just going to stop us from having all of the issue that we have. I mean, it unloads pretty quick through the grain door on this one. A lot faster than you'd expect it. It's still slower than going out the back door. But we can't really use the back door on this one. We can only use the back door on the, the very back one. Uh, so I'll go to the next one. That's the... There, that one. That one's tipping out the grain door. That's fine. Yeah, grain door. That's what we want. We want that one to tip out of the grain door. As soon as this one here is empty. Which is... Now? Now. Anytime. Any time now. How about now? Now? Now. Right, there. Now. Nailed it. Got it in one. 24,480. 
That's slightly lower than it was last time. We've also, the, the price has gone down a bit, hasn't it? Seems like the price has dropped a little. 288. Pretty sure the price has dropped a little bit. Right, why aren't you... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Is the... It should... It's, it's on the grain door now. Is it because I've got that other one on there? Let me unhitch that other trailer. Yes, it's because I had the other one on the back. For some reason, it, some trailers it doesn't seem to like. Doesn't like them at all. So we'll just do that one there, and then we'll be able to hitch the other trailer straight back on as soon as this is finished unloading. Right, there's all of that lot done. It says start overloading wood chips. I can hitch that trailer load back on now, and I'm hoping I can pull forward. Apparently, I'm not going to. Apparently, I'm going to get that back trailer hooked up on here. Yeah, that's 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 hooked up. Uh, right. What we'll do is we'll go forward a little bit. I've done. Oh. I'm going back too far with a lot of them. There. Right. Joskin transfer. Now it's pulled forward. There we go. Beautiful. Tip that one out as well. So we had 30,000 litres in this one. We've got over $200,000 now with this little lot. Which is absolutely fantastic because it means that we are that much closer to our dream of being able to buy a bit more land. There, another $9,000 on that one. So next up, I want to get these trailers back to the dealership. Um, I did actually want to do something else with the trailers, but I think what I'll do is I'll get a different vehicle to tow a different trailer uh, to do the other thing that I wanted to do. And instead... Don't... Right, just, just, just go a little bit steady, Frith. Well, instead of going to the dealership, I'm just going to go straight back to the farm. And I'm going to do it from there. I think it's going to be a lot easier and I'm less likely to run into any issues. Right, back to the farm without getting it tied up on anything at all. I think I've done quite well, to be honest. So park that one right there and I'll unhitch that trailer on the back. We'll stop this one. We'll jump out like that and then we will return it like this. Garage and least items. Right, so we want to return that one. Yes. Okay, and then that one and that one. And then it should be a... Right, we've got two dollies right here. How do I know which is which? 1.5 hours and 0.7. You know, it doesn't matter which is which. As long as we got one here that we can use. That one there, we're not going to need that one anytime soon. Uh, the animals one. Uh, I think we'll keep it just for now, just in case that we do want it for anything. Um, but we, yeah, I did get the wrong one. I did send back the wrong one. Right, fine. We'll, we'll put that one back in the shed at some point so that we can use the tractor on there. But we've now saved ourselves a big chunk of cash. And have I got time to... Well, I, I can sort of do this, I think. What we'll do is we'll leave this tractor up here for a minute and we get this tractor onto here. Um, there's two things that I want to do. First and foremost, I want to bring this one along over here and get that trailer hitched on. Which I will do first. There is somebody's actually given me a link in the Discord to an auto load trailer that takes. That's all egg pallets there. Auto load that does pallets, which is absolutely fantastic. So we will be using that one sometime soon. Not quite yet, but it is definitely now on my to-do list. But what I'm going to do first is I just want to take off those two pallets right there, the wool ones. And then I've got reusable egg pallets up on this trailer. So I'll bring that one up there. We'll make sure this lined up like that. That's the right height. As soon as you start going into the pallets, you can't adjust. It's 
one thing that I always forget, and it does frustrate me a bit with pallets, but, I mean, it's just how they are. Bring you down like that, and... Right, so I've got two wool pallets over here. These are reusable ones. They're both 10k pallets as well. We'll take these over. That field there, I'm still thinking we'll plant that one all up as grass. And we'll plough in the track there as well. Maybe do some alterations up the side for a different track that we can use. Or we could get rid of the track altogether. Uh, both of those options are viable options as far as I'm concerned. So bring this one over here. We should have... I think you still you can't block the first... Although, from the testing that I've seen, blocking that first bit doesn't seem to make any difference. That being said, I'm not going to block it. I'm just going to leave that like that, and hopefully those will continue to load. So then I've got a load of egg pallets on a trailer over there. I'm going to go over to the other chicken pen, and I'm going to gather up those two pallets a minute. Right, I'll grab that there. So that one's full. That one there is not. Grab that one and I'll dump that into there as well. Then we'll come out here like this. And we'll get these park pallets here. Well, there's a full pallet and a park pallet. So I'll grab that one there. And I'll bring that one back round. Like this. And that one I'm going to... go a little bit crazy with because why not and uh, no, I'm gonna bring this one over here and I'm gonna dump this one in here you can put as many as you like in here and it seems to work uh, I don't know what's gonna happen if we do accidentally block the load point there but it doesn't seem to do very much to be honest or at least not from the testing that people have done but most of the testing seems to have been done with wool some of it was done with eggs and it did work with eggs. See, we've got that right there. There's a new one now that's just popped out. So that we can ignore. Grab that. There. Pick that one up. So I've got 2,400 litres of eggs on this pallet. I'll run this down. And I'm going to dump this one on the trailer. And then I'm also going to put the other empty pallet on the trailer as well long as I can do this correctly and I've got room for it I'll bring this one round now I'm hoping that this trailer will be all right it should be considering some of the tests that were done with this whole process there should be no reason why this trailer isn't going to work I know that some trailers um, well there were there were a number of trailers that were tested and the, it, it all seemed to, to work very well. Just turn that sharp that way and nudge that one over so that I've got some space in there like that. Very lucky that when I swung back around I didn't actually catch those pallets and knock them all on the floor. Very, very lucky with that. And then grab this one here. This is the last time I'm going to be using these pallets. From here on in, we'll only be using that other mod with the, um, the reusable ones. It's a better mod, I think. Similar sort of thing, but I think it's a better mod because you can see what it's doing. You've got the visual on it. Uh, you've got the various different options on it as well. I just think overall, it's just a, a, a far better mod. Right. Easy does it. There we go. And switch the lights off. Switch that one off. And then we go to this one. So I'll put the straps on so he's all strapped into place like that. And then bring this pallet round. This trailer round, sorry. And in theory, what should happen is the eggs should load straight into the pallets. We shouldn't need to do anything else with them at all. Just leave them on here. Now, I know for a fact that with a big trailer, this definitely works with wool. Right? And you can also stack the pallets two pallets high, and it still works. Now, looking at that, I think that's about right. I'm going to leave the lights on so that we can see it a little better. That is over the load point. That's over the load point. That's over the load point there. So it should get those front six pallets 
Same here. That's partially in. That is and that is as well. So in theory, it should get all of those. And having the straps there, it shouldn't make any difference. And you can have... A, somebody did do a test where they had multiple pallets on a trailer. They'd stack them too high over where the sheep were um, on their own test map. And it worked with the sheep. It, it worked absolutely beautifully. So if it works with the sheep and that on there, I'm assuming that we should be okay for it on here with the eggs. I'm not entirely certain with the eggs, but I'm hoping that this does actually pay off. Uh, chickens at the moment, they're fine with grains. Sheep, we do need a bit, but we're all right overnight. They're fine, and the horses are absolutely fine. So we've got Patrick, Dante, Jamie, Michael B, and Windwalker are all at $27,000 at the moment. And then as soon as we go overnight... Like this. We'll go 12 hours. Uh, they should go up in value a little bit. We've got 4,500 in... Uh, 4,200 in vehicle leasing. 2,000 in loan interest. 500 in property maintenance. So I don't know what band the horse groom mod comes under. Right now, we've got 658 on there. These chickens have got 1,093. The sheep are on 8,400 in wool. We're up to 40 sheep now. We're getting one new sheep every day. Chickens there, they're on 96. They're on a new one. Uh, 32,000 on our horses. Going up, and then these, other ho these three horses at the bottom, they're on 17,000. We can have more horses. You can have up to 16 horses in a pen, I think. I don't know how many individual horses you can have on a map. I'm not sure about that. Um, now, we want to have a look at this. So, which one is loading at the moment? I think at the moment. So, we got one full one on here. And then we got one partial one. The one, the other one on this side's not doing anything. And over this side's not doing anything. So, it looks like... It looks like they're loading. It, it does look like they're filling up. It doesn't look like they're doing anything else. It's not come up with a warning to say that they're empty. We've got 658 there and 1,093 there. So we won't... It, it's obviously filling up the other old pallet first. And then once it's filled that one, then it will start filling some new ones. And that seems to be working absolutely fine. The wool over there is still working on the first pallet that was down. We've got two more pallets at 10,000 litre capacity... Which means, I mean, these sheep over here, these will produce an obscene amount of wool overall, I think. See right there, we've got 20,000 litres in those two. And then this one here, so there's 30,000 litres of wool going to end up being put down onto this little pad. And if we get some on a trailer and we like stack them too high and then sort of put them over, you could get 12 pallets of wool. 120,000 <laughs> litres of wool, all stacked up. On easy mode, you sell it for 2,000 per 1,000 litres. We're looking at, what I say, 120,000? Yeah, we're looking at a quarter of a million dollars from selling wool. Which, I can cope with that. I, I don't think that's too shabby. That's not too bad at all. This down here, this one's full. I've got no more room in the inn on that one. So we'll just leave that there. And this one here, we're going to want one, uh, another one of the big pallets. So we'll probably have to get a trailer... Maybe get... Oh, no, I've got one there. I could move that one over. I'm not going to do that today. We're, we're going to leave that for now. We'll worry about that next time. Um, those, they can stay there as well. Oh, how many... We're up to 382 chickens. I decided, because I was thinking, do we sell off 10% of the chickens? So get rid of 40 chickens every time we max out the pen. Just as a little bit of extra income. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it with the chickens. With the sheep, yes, I do think it's worth it. They get up to 100, we sell 10, go back down to 90, because uh, each individual sheep is worth a little bit of money. Chickens, I just don't think it's going to be worth the bother. I really don't. So I'm not going to worry about that. But anyway, I have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. In the next episode, I would like to... Well, I want to do some planting. We've got planting that we need to get done. 
Uh, before we go and do too much planting, though, I want to get this lime down there and get that on the field. I don't know if we're supposed to go liming the grass fields, but one thing I did want to know is, do you want me to bother with doing lime after I finish doing this one load right here we've already switched off the weeds now we've spent a lot of time doing weeds uh we know what it's all about spraying the weeds i can always put them back on again later but as i said before this particular series is not meant to be 100 percent realistic this is just kind of um we have a look at mods and experiment with things and try new methods of doing things whilst farming at a reasonably realistic level. So we're not going all out full realism like I'm doing with the uh, Super Hardcore series. Even though I am using Auto Load in the Super Hardcore series, we're still going as close to realistic as we can on that one. This one, we're not looking at realism. We're, we're, not, we're not after realism on this. this. This, we're doing it a different way. Um, but anyway, like I said, that's all I've got time for today. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.